like George W. Bush on his way out, because this is pretty much the last year you're going to see Trump as president. Um, he basically decided that what he's going to do is he's going to hand out welfare checks to everybody in order to, um, I guess you could say, ease the pain of this economy under coronavirus. Now, um, basically, George Bush sent us $600 checks. Some people got the whole thing. Some people didn't. But um, a lot of the people who did get it got the $600. However, it took hindsight to see that the vast majority of people did not actually spend that money. See, the whole point of a stimulus check is for you to actually take that money and spend it. As far as I know, there's laws that say that the government itself cannot lend directly to institutions. What they can do, however, is they can do like uh, tax uh, cuts or whatever, or they can give you the, you know, the actual U.S. citizen. You can They can give you money directly. But I don't believe that they're allowed to actually give the banks themselves directly money um, outside of an absolute like catastrophe where they have no where they have basically no choice at all. So when we had those bailouts, uh, basically what they had to do was they had to use the banks to, you know, consume other banks that were smaller. And their reasoning was that uh, capital injections, what they were calling it, their reasoning was that if they uh, hide the banks that are weakest, the American public won't run out and, you know, uh, make a run on the bank and snatch all their money off the bank. But what you're seeing in the stock market, which we're going to get to in a minute, is basically Americans making a run on the stock market and snatching all their money out. So basically, every stock has basically been hit. It doesn't matter what you had. It also doesn't matter how strong your stock was. So there was like somebody who I was basically responding to a little while ago. They asked me like what stocks that I think I was going to pick. So I'm going to talk about that in a couple of seconds. But basically, this bailout information is all over. So let me tell you something. Every last one of you Fox News watching pieces of shit who's talking all that garbage about uh, the Obama administration and bailouts, I want to hear you talking equally loud and equally fervently. And I want to see the Tea Party coming out to march against Trump and his welfare checks that he's going to be handing out to everybody. I'm going to call it what it is. I'm not calling it stimulus because that's bullshit. I'm not calling it no bailout because that's bullshit too because $1,000 ain't bailing nobody out. I got way more than $1,000. You ain't bailing nothing out. I've got friends who are restaurant owners who are going to probably have to damn near file for bankruptcy under this uh, system right now. So the thing about it is $1,000 ain't helping them. Believe me, it ain't helping them. But um, so this is that right there. So, you know, they're also asking uh, construction workers to give up ventilation masks to the hospitals since this country is so stupid that under Ronald Reagan, we sent all of our factories over to China in order for these businesses to chase profit. And now what you see is now all of your production is coming from the very same place that has the mass infection. So very good, Reaganomics. Very good. Very good. Very good. And you know what's so funny? I can say all this and I don't even have to worry about anybody even trying to argue with me because, you know, they already know that there's no argument there and I'm not having it. So anyway, in order for you to understand what stocks you should be looking at, what you really need to do is you need to look at what those stocks look like up until a month ago. So how about we take a look at Procter & Gamble? Procter & Gamble was at what? Uh, February 21st, they were at $126 and now they're trading down all the way down here at 108 Procter & Gamble is one of these companies that you should invest in. You know, they make consumable goods. And the thing about it is they've been around for a long, long time. You can read the history of this place because I'm not reading it right now. I don't feel like doing it. But bottom line is coronavirus chopped their asses down all the way to $108. $108. So they fell from 126 to 108 and they probably are gonna keep falling. So the, here's the thing, basically why am I making this video? Well, when Trump hands you your thousand dollar welfare check, you have a choice. You can either go out and be stupid and buy some fucking rims for your car, which I would never do because I don't do anything except OEM rims. I like OEM rims because you know they have SRT written on them. Okay, um, or you could go out and buy some stupid ugly wrap for your car 
which I wouldn't do either because I think that shit looks stupid. I wouldn't do that. Um, you could go out and buy like a big gold suit or a clock to wear around your neck, like your flavor flavor or something. I probably wouldn't do that either. Or you could go like buy a watch, an Apple watch, or you could buy some big piece of gold watch or something that's $1,000. I wouldn't do that either. But uh, my thing is, the best thing you could do with that $1,000 is take it and invest it in some stocks. Because the thing about it is, when this market finally does turn around, you'll actually have something to show for it. So my thing is, Procter & Gamble, that might be considered a decent buy. Because the thing about it is, you know this is a strong company. It's just that right now, they're having their asses kicked by coronavirus. How about Visa? Well, Visa, because, you know, Visa is those people who you have credit cards for. And right now, people who don't have cash because, you know, this economy is beating the hell out of them. They're buying everything on their Visa cards or their MasterCard. Well, Visa is $153 right now. Well, guess what? Visa, a month ago, Visa was at $213. Visa is a strong company. I mean, for God's sakes, everything you probably bought this year, you probably bought on a Visa card. Problem is, what's happening? Visa's getting their asses kicked right now. That might be a considerably, you know, strong stock to buy in. There's Apple here. Now, here's my thing. Apple is, you know, too expensive. I got into Apple during the stock split. So um, you're not getting into Apple for under $90, not unless the world really does end and this 244 turns into 90 something dollars, then you'll know we're in trouble. But uh, Apple was trading as high as $323, but now they're all the way down here. They're down here at 242 So they've lost a considerable amount of money. But the thing about it is, you know Apple's a trillion dollar company. You know Apple, if anybody... Apple that can weather that storm. So Apple is worth buying. Moving into. right along from Apple. Sorry, some chick tried to call me and I had to put my play, my uh, phone in airplane mode so this way she can't interrupt me while I'm doing my videos. But anyway, Walmart. Walmart, well, we already know what Walmart is. Walmart is a strong company. Walmart is a very strong company. A month ago, Walmart was trading at, um, what is this? They're trading at like $119, and right now they're down to 106 So they're getting their asses kicked. We know Walmart is a very strong company. We know Walmart knows how to adapt itself to change to the times. Everybody thought Whole Foods and all the other organic vegetable companies and all that vegan uh, impossible meat bullshit was going to put Walmart out of business. You know damn well Walmart ain't going. Walmart is like the roots of a plant. They ain't going nowhere. So the thing about it is, I think the bleeding may continue to push Walmart under $100. If Walmart goes under $100, might be worth buying into. Now, I don't know how much higher Walmart can go considering, you know, it's hot. Let's see where its high was. Its high was like 100 It's been as high as $120. So, I mean, Walmart's a possibility. Do I, you know, I already own stock in Walmart. I don't know if I'd buy any more, but, you know, just in case you're, you know, interested, maybe. I don't know. If, you know, maybe you want to buy into the company. Home Depot. Home Depot. $247. Now, I want you to keep in mind. See, this is how I think because I'm that type of person who thinks way ahead. Refinances are going to be a big thing soon. The economy's got its ass kicked. Fed just reduced rates to zero. Refinances are going to be a big thing. In fact, I got two properties I'm planning to refinance. Um, and the thing about it is I can go down from, what is it, a 4.7 and I can go down from a, what is it, a 3.5 or whatever, or 3.3. I can go down by refinancing. The thing about it is when people start refinancing, they're going to be, you know, do a home improvement loans too, because a lot of people are going to do a refinance and they're going to take out money because the problem is this economy's probably kicked their ass really that bad. So the thing about it is they won't have the extra money. So they're going to end up trying to do home improvement a month ago. Home Depot was trading at $247. Right now, that shit is down here at $164. Home Depot's got some space to grow. I think, however, that, you know, it's probably going to bleed a little bit more. So, um, you know, shit could get ugly. Okay. Goldman Sachs. These are, you know, you know, they, they were trading at, uh, what is it, $237 about a month ago. Now, they're all the way down here at 154 Okay. Now, there are a couple of other ones that I've already bought into. And I'll tell you about a couple of them. Because some people ask me about coronavirus stocks. Lockheed Martin. 
Lockheed Martin, they build, you know, bombs, tanks, bullets, guns, airplanes, and fighter jets that this company, this, this country absolutely does not need because you ain't using no stealth fighter to fight no Afghani that lives in a goddamn cave. So anyway, they were trading, what is this, one year. They were trading as high as $439. Go back to a month ago. They were at about $439, and now the poor bastards are all the way down here at $287. $287. But wait, I don't know if this is showing the end because it says right now they're trading at $318. So I guess this doesn't show the very, very, very end of the map, but no big deal. You can see it right there. It says it's trading at 318. Lockheed Martin, just in case we go to war with somebody, well, you already know this stock is going up. So this is also a safe bet. But the thing about it is most of you probably aren't cash rich to buy into Lockheed Martin. So I totally understand that. I totally understand so that. Let no me big. take you on over to my uh, TD Ameritrade uh, stock trading. So basically what I do is I organize my... Um, uh, how should I say, my portfolio so that this way it's easier for me to watch specific things. Now, one of the watch lists that I created for you, because, you know, people are asking, um, these are all lithium mining stocks. Now, obviously, when those electric cars come online and people start really buying the Model Y, the Model 3, Worldwide and everything, um, they're going to obviously be mining for lithium. And as you can see, the majority of these stocks are already somewhat up. But uh, yeah, lithium mining is going to be a very, very big deal. So these are some of the picks I got. I got AV Lift, that's Advantage Lithium Corp, as you can see. So that's uh, right now 15 cents. So that's a good one to probably consider buying into. And it's up, uh, it's up zero. But uh, you do the research yourself. CXBMF, 43 cents, up 7.35%. Now, this one is another cheap one that's easy to buy into. Um, what else? Uh, $1.63 for a K92 mining. That's down about $0.05, cents, but then again, everything else is down. As you saw, everybody else is getting their asses kicked. GLAXF, $0.48, cents, right now anyway. Now, what you can do is you can watch these things, and you can see how they perform up until Trump gives you your welfare check. And then you can decide whether or not you want to buy into any of these things, or you can consider me crazy and say, yeah, I'm not taking any of his advice. I mean, after all, he only made like, you know, close to $50,000 on Tesla from his stupid trades, right? So anyway, pure energy minerals, less than three cents, 0 0.02. Right now, these things aren't going to show very much movement, but these things are long-term keepers. And after all, if you get into them, you're getting into them for, these are basically penny stocks. I mean, you're getting into them for less than a dollar, most of them, you know. So uh, this is 49 cents right there, you know. So um, that's a possibility. Now, this, this is the entire information. So as you can see, the prices for these, AVLF, you know, 15 cents and whatnot. Do the research. Do the research. See what it costs you to actually buy into them. I already shared these symbols right here. These are a couple that are interested in coronavirus development and trying to make cures for coronavirus. Now, what you'll notice is that all of them that I actually told you about, I think it was like a week or two ago, and I listed them, they're all up right now. Well, obviously, it's because coronavirus kicking everybody's ass. So, why? Why are they up? So, this is Moderna. Okay, Moderna is $27. That's probably a little bit rich for everybody's blood. So I won't waste too much time talking about that. You got AIM right here, which is easier to buy into. This is $2.35. And as you can see, it's up $0.13. Cents. And you can see it's uh, performance for the year right there. Veer, $46.88. And uh, as you can see, its year performance is sky high. And then there's Guild, $73.40. And uh, it's been performing pretty decently. It's got its up and downs. It's got its sellers. But this is probably too expensive for your blood. Probably too expensive for you to buy into. So basically, why did I show you this? The reason why I showed you this is because somebody asked, hey, if you get a $1,000 welfare check from Trump, what are you planning to buy? So I said, you know what? Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll make a quick video and I'll uh, throw out this information there. Um, just so you have some idea of what I'm putting in my portfolios. And uh, that's that. So if Trump hands me a $1,000 welfare check, I'm going to go out and buy all of the cheapest 
of these that I can buy. I'll probably start with like 100 shares or more if they're cheap, because some of these are cheap. Um, if I were you, that's what I'm saying. So um, I've already gotten into most of these damn things that I'm showing you, except for some of the really, really expensive ones. But uh, this is just what I suggest. I mean, if Trump's going to hand out welfare checks, instead of you taking your money and wasting it on crystal meth or freaking opioids or something, what you really ought to do is take yourself down to wherever you want to trade at and open yourself up a trading platform. Because the thing about it is, this government's already shown me that they're not interested in doing anything except trying to print money to save their asses when the heat and fire is on.